Well, actually, the Cochrane Public Independence Celebration was born in 1990 uh, when the tourism industry decided they were no longer going to celebrate an event called Concrete Public Days. And uh, several friends of mine and I got together and said, we can't really allow our eighth anniversary to go uncelebrated. So we started an event we called the Concrete Public Independent Celebration. And we have a whole series of events starting out in the first weekend with drag racing on Duval Street. And no, Martha, we're not racing cars. We are racing drag queens. We'll also elect our royal family, have our kickoff party, our military muster. During the great battle for the Concrete Republic, our Army, our Navy, our Air Force, our Coast Guard, our CIA do battle with the real United States Coast Guard. And we kind of throw all sorts of stuff at each other as long as it's soft, like stale Cuban bread, conch fritters. Our Air Force is attacked from above, dropping hundreds of rolls of marine-grade biodegradable toilet paper down to drape the Coast Guard vessel. Cannons fire, uh, shotguns blast, all blank ammunition, of course. Um, it's really quite a spectacular battle. And of course, at the victory party afterwards, the real United States Coast Guard surrenders to us. Turn tail and run, Coast Guard. The Secretary General of the Concrete Republic takes care of all the day-to-day -day business of our tiny islands nation. I like to think I'm in sort of the empowerment business. It is within the purview of my office to create rank and position. We uh, empower people as consul generals and honorary consuls and goodwill ambassadors and uh, I of course answer to the Prime Minister of the Concrete Republic who is the duly elected mayor of the city of Key West at any given time. Uh, that's by custom and tradition. Actually we have no laws in the Concrete Republic. There are enough laws in the world without us making more. Besides it's the world's first fifth world nation, a sovereign state of mind seeking only to bring more humor, warmth and respect. Uh, people around the world love that idea. So those values of humor, warmth, and respect, the values that have made Key West and the Cock Republic a special place since forever are what attract people to come here and keep coming back year after year.